the media practitioners, you are our partners. We are assembled again today for a similar purpose for which we assembled yesterday. We are here with a prominent Gambian who has aspiration to occupy the highest office in this land, not for its sake, but to add value to it. Circumstances did prevent him from continuing the journey. But one cannot read a person's mind. Even those who may be allowed by circumstances to continue the journey would have still taken the decision that he has taken today. It's a decision based on conscience and national interest. We are assembled to inform you that we had a close meeting and the participants are Al Haji Mamadi Quran and his youth for change with the Doy leadership. The byproduct of that close meeting is the joint communique that I am here to present to you. A joint communique between the leaders of the People's Democratic Organization for Independence and Socialism and the independent presidential aspirant Al-Haji Mamadi Kura. 12th November 2021. The meeting of the Doyle leadership and Al-Haji Mamadi Kuran to announce the endorsement of the candidature of the Doi presidential aspirant was held at the Doi headquarters in the Kanifi municipality on the 12th of November 2021. Present at the meeting were Halifa Saleh, the Doi presidential candidate accompanied by the members of the Doi leadership and Al-Haji Mamadi Kuran, independent presidential aspirant, accompanied by members of Youth for Change. At the closed door meeting, statements were made by representatives of the two parties. The partners noted that the Gambia had experienced a major political transition on 2nd December 2016, characterized by the unseating of an entrenched government after 52 years of going to the polls without any change through the ballot box. They agreed that the fundamental objective of the change in 2016 was to establish a transitional government that would carry out constitutional, legal, institutional, and normative reforms that would lead to the building of the architecture of a participatory democracy, for participatory democracy by involving all in the change and thus create a level ground for future multi-party contests by 
putting an end to the abuse of incumbency which lead to self-perpetuating rule. The partners observed that the post-coalition administration has not been able to tackle the menace of corruption or draw the youth who constitute 72% of the population into public life, but has instead revitalized the challenges of incumbency for the 2021 election. They express their conviction that coalition building between partners to address the abuse of incumbency could be done to effect change for this, its sake or ensure substantive change of a system. They express the recognition of the existence of a sizable community among the Gambian electorate and the diaspora who are dissatisfied with the manner of state administration since 27, 2017 and are yearning for system change to put an end to poverty and injustice. They indicated that they are assembled to endorse the change call, the clarion call for a poverty-free, injustice-free and ignorance-free Gambia by endorsing a candidate and a programmatic policy document which will make all service accessible and available to all citizens to build a Gambia we would be proud to call our homeland. The partners agreed to append their signatures to a document that will contain the terms and conditions of endorsement of the DOI candidate by Alaji Mamadi Koram, which will incorporate the terms and conditions expressed in the joint community. Al Haji Mamadi Quran and the Youth for Change expressed unalloyed commitment to endorse the Doi presidential candidate and gave assurance of their determination to mobilize Gambians at home and in the diaspora to campaign for change to eradicate poverty, injustice, and ignorance. The very presidential candidate expressed appreciation that a coalition is being founded on the basis of mutually agreed principles and terms to give hope to our people for a better and fairer Gambia. He gave the following assurance that would be incorporated in the agreement serve only one term, include Alhaji Mamadi Kurang in an inclusive cabinet, and would award his political group no less than two cabinet posts, prevent any abuse of incumbency in Doi's favor in any subsequent election after the five-year term. Signed, Halifa Salah, Doi presidential candidate, Al Haji Mamadi Kuran, independent presidential aspirant. That is the joint committee. <laughs> we will now hear from Al Haji Mamadi Kuran. Um, Your Excellency, Honorable Alifa Salah the executive members of the PDOIS, members of the Youth for Change, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome, everybody. I take this opportunity to show the appreciation um, in the manner we have been received by the executive of um, the PDOIS and uh, our endorsed presidential candidate, uh, Mr. Honorable Khalifa Salah. 
we thank you all. After the um, unfortunate and unacceptable decision of the IEC to disqualify me, which we believe have no legal basis, we know that apart from legal rights, we have also political rights that at this critical moment of our country's history need to be exercised. After consultations with members of the Youth for Change that I have worked with for the past one year, all over the country, one to two years, all over the country from Koina to Katong, we realized that we have to make a decision that will affect this election in December 2021. In order to reach a decision of which presidential candidate to endorse, we had consultations with members and had general agreement that a number of factors are important and must be considered. One, we believe that we need to endorse a candidate whom his beliefs, his principles, policies and plans that he stands for and that which his party stands for mirror what we stand for and what we have been preaching at Youth for Change for the past one to two years. Secondly, we believe that we should endorse a candidate whose track record, whose competency, whose knowledge enables him to be able to understand the problems that our country face, particularly economic problems, and can provide solutions for the issues and problems that we face in the Gambia, particularly poverty. And thirdly, we also believe that we should endorse a candidate whose democratic principles stand for the defense of the weak, either as individuals or as new political entrants, that defends the rights of every citizen according to the Constitution to have the right to elect and be elected. After several deliberations with members of the Youth for Change, we feel that a decision that we have found a candidate and therefore we decided to unconditionally endorse the PDOIS candidate, Mr. Khalifa Saleh, for the presidency of the Gambia in the December 2021 elections. We believe that Mr. Sala, the Honorable, has the policies, the principles with the PDOIS that reflect what we stand for, that he has the competency and has the democratic credentials. We have witnessed National Assembly debates. I would say even though I have not known Honorable Sala and Honorable Sidi Ajata, uncle. Um, I've met them personally for the first time today, but we have followed debates in the National Assembly. And we have seen the, the criteria that we express here in, on display. We have seen how they defended the right of every citizen when the election bill was tabled, the right for every citizen to be elected and to be able to elect the candidate of their choice, for the common man to be able to participate in politics. We think this reflects what we stand for. We have heard Honorable Khalifa Saleh express his desire to retire from politics, depending on the circumstances. And we think that's a reflection of his belief in democracy, and we know from what we have heard and seen over the past few days, that he is committed to a one-term presidency in the spirit of bringing in institutional reforms 
that the people of the country have been seeking for since 2017, and establishing a level playing field, and controlling with checks and balances the power of the incumbency. We think this reflects the reasons why we joined politics and the reasons why I decided to contest for the presidency. So I hereby take this opportunity to thank everybody that supported me in my journey to seek for the presidency and to ask all my supporters all over the country to vote for the PDOIS candidate, Honorable Khalifa Salah, on December 4th, 2021. Thank you. And we are inspired that he has chosen our presidential candidate. But he gave that support with conditions that the presidential candidate must continue to speak the language of maturity, must continue to speak the language of commitment, must continue to speak the language of integrity. His aspiration is to have a leadership in the Gambia that knows what is to be done to address the needs and aspirations of our people. A leadership that will be committed both in word and deed to those aspirations. And a leadership that has no hunger for power and no hunger to perpetuate it. Those are core values that we share and core values we wish to pursue to transform into instruments, institutions, and mindset so that a new Gambia will be born out of the work, the toil and moil of new Gambians. So assembled here are people who are determined to show that they have real love for country and people and are willing to give their very lives in the service of country and people. And we want the electorate to measure the practice of those assembled here against those aspirations. We will be proceeding to build up the relationship and work together, knowing fully well that one mind does not build a nation. It's the collective intelligence of the population that can guard, guide, and ensure that our collective destiny is assured. That is why we are here, assembled, you witnessing this great day, history being made by people who know that adversity does not have any place in conquering our resolve. Once we face one adversity, we devolve the resolve, the resilience to move forward to victory. We have the people here who are ready not to be conquered, but the people who will always be ready to conquer the ills of our society, to free our people from poverty, ignorance, and injustice. We thank you very much for all that you have said, your kind words, but it's also a challenge. We must meet expectations because those who betray expectations are expected to be condemned by history. 
But those who fulfill expectations will be absolved by history. We hope that this decision you have taken today will not be regretted tomorrow by discovering the very opposite of what you have expected to realize. We assure you that we too will be guarding our words and actions so that we will meet the expectation that you have of our leadership. Thank you very much.